Hey guys, Brian here, Spontaneous Creations. Um, what I got here is a 12 by 20, or sorry, 12 by 24 inch canvas. I got Purple Lake, Dioxazine Violet, Cadmium Blue. No, Cerulean Blue, Phthalo Blue, Viridian, Light Green. Um, this is Mars Black and Payne's Gray mixed. This is Pearl, Pearl Essence. These are all uh, creative inspirations. Creative inspirations, except for the Mars Black in here is Sax. They're all mixed with straight Floetrol, uh, 3 to 1, 3 to 1 Floetrol, 3 Floetrol, 1 paint. Then I got some of these little dessert cups. And I got found these on Amazon. I don't, I don't remember how much they were. They were one of those, oh, that might be cool, impulse type buys. Uh, but I'm going to try this foot and drag thing that I've been doing with those. See how it works out. Now your darker colors all have silicone in them. Two drops per. And there's about two and a half ounces in each one of these cups. Got a little bit more white. No, no uh, silicone in these back ones. So let's see. Let's move these for a minute. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these, move them closer to me so I can get at them better. And I'm going to put white in the bottom of all 10 or 12 chambers. I need to move my phone. Mike's always thinking somebody's trying to chase him. He's always trying to get somebody to chase him, really. Okay, so we're going to go with... These are four ounce containers, so two ounces per side. Just gonna leave me a little bit of white to top off with. Let's see. I have a larger cup here with white in it that I'll let drain into that. Anyway, um, then on this side I'm gonna do light colors, and on this side I'm gonna do the dark colors. I think I'm going to put a little bit of black on this side also. Um, we'll see what happens. Anyway. Mike, what are you tearing up? I can hear you. Mike likes bubble wrap.
this is going to take a while. You can always speed this up. Um, I might be able to speed it up, I don't know. Have enough paint again. Never have enough paint. That might have made it too dark. any more of this white. Well I can mix some more up real quick. Or I can just do what I do, do what I can with what I got. And the darker sides with the silicone in them, which I should have maybe thought about that a little bit more, um, on this side. And I should have certainly done it that way. Maybe I should have put silicone in two of the lighter ones and two of the darker ones. Too late now.
have a little bit more of that paint gray already mixed, so that with that. And then we go again. Maybe mixing the lights and the darks might have been a better idea too. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's all fun and games. Kind of stalling, I think, because um, I'm thinking. <coughs> so I'm gonna take these cups and I'm gonna turn them this way. I want a dark to light, light to dark, dark to light. That's the way those are going on there. We're going to start by putting it on there. I think I went exactly backwards from the way I had it laid out because flipping it over changes the sides, but that's okay. Those worked out. Closer to the edge. I 
Okay. That's all that. I'm not worried about these drips. It's a little bit worried about them because there's silicone in some of those. And Well, we'll see what happens. We're going to go with... This side. I don't know how bad that's screwing that up, but <clears throat> it's what's got to be done. Well, I got pretty good coverage there. I don't know how much torching is going to do. We can see. It's got some different stuff going on all over. use up the paint that's in these cups for these spots that I know are going to have to roll off. I don't think I'm screwing it up any. Not really mud coming out. Still pretty. Colors are still pretty separated. It's kind of band like.
Okay, I gotta tilt something. I'm gonna have to tilt some paint off of here for sure, but what I wanted to do was make sure I didn't have to make zigzags. Yeah, this weighs a little bit. paint left on here but I'm not trying to dump paint off yet I'm trying to get I don't know you're seeing what I'm trying to do So I know these videos get monotonous, but everybody that makes them wants to do a really nice painting every time. Some people don't upload their bad paintings. is definitely different it's not what I was what I am used to getting out of that technique I screwed up by putting this paint up in these in the seams I don't like the little split cups for this technique um, take my gloves off and then rub my finger around the bottom because that's how I do. I'm sure some people wonder why I wear gloves at all. Because that happens almost every time. Okay, so there's still way too much paint on there for most people. I don't mind because it's not going to crack. So I, I think that's the mo the worry of too much paint most of the time. But my paintings don't crack, and I think that that's more the consistency of my paints and the consistent consistency, if that makes sense. My dioxazine violet and my light green are the exact same consistency. So they blend well and I think that helps with not the without with not cracking. No scientist, I don't know that for sure, but I think that's a key too key in this also. 
consistency is the main key. It's the way you end up getting nicer paintings. Much nicer than this. This is not the best looking painting. Um, I don't mind it though. It, it might be, end up being alright. Okay, done babbling. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to watch new ones that I post as I post them. Thanks all. Have a good day.